Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another episode of Cougar Tales. In today's episode, the main character is named Amputee Guy. Yep, I said it. He's missing a leg. And if you're wondering what happened, stick around and find out. I matched up with Amputee Guy about three years ago. He was 28 and I was 49. He was in his senior year at the local university here. And he had just gotten into a motorcycle accident and he had to have his left leg removed. He was just sexy as hell, but I always did have kind of like a slight fetish for an amputee. I'm not gonna say a fetish. Well, maybe it was a fetish, but uh, having sex with an amputee was definitely on my bucket list. And it's because I follow a photographer named Michael Stokes, but it's not because of him. It's just that I've always thought, like, have you ever seen an, a guy who's missing a leg and then he has like that blade as his leg? I mean, that shit is hella hot to me. I don't know why. And usually like a lot of amputees because I don't know, it's because of rehab or working out or what, but they usually have some serious man booty and some thick thighs. So he had just lost his leg and we messaged back and forth on Bumble for a little bit, but then he unmatched me and I was really sad. And then two years later, I see him again. I run into him at a running event, at a 5K race, because you guys know I run 5Ks, but there he was. And, and because of his eyes, he's got really super light blue eyes. He was hard to miss. So we actually matched up on Bumble again and we messaged back and forth and then we started texting and he invited me to a motorcycle event because he still does ride a motorcycle because he had it fitted to where he could shift you know, up on the handle. So he invited me to a gentleman's ride and I met up with him at the ride. We had a blast. He wasn't riding that day, but I, I was and he was in the sponsor truck. So, you know, I told him, I said, hey, I'm, I'm really not into one night you know, first date sex, but man, you're like, the sexual chemistry was, you know, off the charts. So he said, let's go to four different places. And so that's what we did. We went to four different places that day to have drinks or eat dinner. And then we ended up back at his place. Now I remember driving back to his apartment. I called my best friend and I said, dude, I'm getting ready to cross amputee off my bucket list. I mean, seriously, I would have done him after the gentleman's ride. I just need to take a shower. We didn't have to go to the other three places, but he doesn't know that, but now he does. So we ended up going back to his place and he had a roommate. So we go in his room and you know, we start making out and he takes his clothes off and holy shit, that's when I realized he wasn't really missing a leg. I mean, he was well endowed. I'd say like somewhere between seven and a half and eight inches. And he's just beautiful, you know? I remember uh, a after us having sex, he went to go get something to drink and he gets out of bed and I'm like, holy crap. Like his body is incredible. You guys know how I feel about man booty and man, he has the best man booty I've ever seen. And his thighs are thick as shit. And then, you know, when he puts his blade on, I'm like, he is just absolutely stunning. Like he's probably one of the best looking guys I've ever slept with. And you know, I feel kind of guilty about it. Like I actually thought like sitting there in bed, like, dude, I don't deserve to be sleeping with you, but I'm going to sleep with you. We actually dated for four months. He's one of the few guys who ever been to my house and met my kids and we're still friends to this day. He's actively looking for a wife and he wants a wife and kids. And we just didn't really connect like on I mean, other than a sexual level, we just don't connect like on the other levels, you know? Um, I mean, we have some things in common, but you know, that chemistry is not there. Like, I don't wanna hang out with him all the time. I'm sure he doesn't wanna hang out with me all the time. So anyways, there's my story of amputee guy. Let me know if you've got a certain person on your bucket list, whether it's a race, profession, zodiac sign, whatever. Leave them in the comment section below and I'm anxious to see what you guys think. Until next time, happy hunting.